In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the Moodle tiles format, which is new with Moodle 2.9. I'm also going to show you how you can use this new format to very quickly decorate what might otherwise be a pretty boring looking Moodle site. And ultimately, should you wish, I'm going to show you how you can swap out the images that are in the standard format with ones of your own, which might be more representative of the teaching area that you're in. So let me get started. I'm going to introduce you to the format itself. So this is the tiles format. I like it visually. I think it's very strong. I also like it navigationally. As students make choices about their content, they can click, for instance, on this start here section and consume the content there within. They can also now use the tabs at the top and bottom of these pages to navigate through the other sections of content. So they don't have to jump back to the home page in order to continue to navigate. And also they have an all sections tab. Now I like this because what it does is present all of the content as one long continuous page. So for those students who prefer to have a continuous experience in their learning, they can do so in that all sections view. Or should they wish to, they can consume it in more bite-sized bits. If I return to the home page now, there's some other more subtle design elements which I think are also very strong. The first of these is as I resize the screen, notice that the images change shape and size to fit. It's called adaptive design and as we get down to smaller and smaller sizes, what is a three column layout pops down to become two and ultimately becomes one. Now what this means is that as people access material on different devices or on different screen sizes, it will adapt and be responsive to their device. So it's very good in, in that respect, particularly for mobile devices. So let's now look at how we apply the tiles format to our existing Moodle site. And quite deliberately, I'm starting with a completely vanilla Moodle site, but the same steps would apply to any of your current Moodle delivery. So it's actually surprisingly simple. All I need to do is to go to the edit settings area. I'm going to scroll down into this course format area. And I'm going to choose from the uh, choices here, the tile format. After I do that, there's a number of choices that affect the way the tile format appears, but I'm leaving deliberately leaving all of those as default. And I'm going to hit save and return. And as quickly as that, I've applied the new theme to my previously boring Moodle site. And you'll notice that the imagery that's brought across are actually pretty damn good. I think that they're generic enough that most um, it would apply to most discipline areas. There's some concern I have about whether or not some of these images are a little bit naive for an adult audience, but it's perfectly functional. So if that's as much as you aspire to do, to simply use the images that are built into the theme, then that's it. You've done it. There's no more to do. So the rest of the recording I'm going to give over now to how you can further customise those images if you're not happy with the default set. So if you stayed with the recording, it means you must be interested in taking it to the next step and redesigning this. In order to do that, we're going to have to take stock of what the current image size and shapes are for both the banner and for the tile images. So I've opened those up separately. This is the banner image and it has a dimension of 950 pixels by 350 pixels. That's going to be important later as we select our images and crop them so that they will fit. Similarly, the tile image has a particular dimension of 400 pixels by 250 pixels. Now I'm going to turn to what has become my very favourite collection of images on the web. It's called Unsplash and it's wonderful. It has very high quality photographic images from professional artists on a whole range of themes and they're just glorious images, all curated by a photographic community. However, the most wonderful thing about this resource is the statement here at the top. Free do whatever you want, high resolution photos. These are all shared under what is called Creative Commons Zero license type. If I click on the licensing here, it basically means that you can copy, modify, distribute and use the photos for free, including for commercial purposes without asking permission or providing attribution to the photographer. So they're basically giving it away for free for you to use. And therefore, we can ensure that we meet our copyright obligations and at the same time get access to what are 
truly beautiful collection of images. So what I've done, and this might help you, is I've curated some of these images together into a collection I've called Study. I'll send a link to this collection out with the recording. And really, they're just basically images I found amongst the Unsplash collection that I think might be useful in an educational context. You'll likely find your own images. So what I've done, however, allows me to start to take some of these images, download them, and then I can crop them so that they'll fit and include them back in Moodle. So for example, if I wanted to include this image, I can simply click on it to get a large screen version of it and then hit the download button and save that to my computer. So I'm going to save image as. Recalling that our license allows us to do this. This is quite within the licensing uh, agreement for Unsplash. So I have my own copy of the image. The next step is a technical one. It is one where you would edit the image, cropping it to size. This tutorial won't cover that. I'm not intending in this to give you Photoshop training or anything like it. So if you don't have those skills, have a search of the web for things like Photoshop and crop. If you're using that tool, there's a whole range of tools like it. I personally use a tool called Sketch. It's a Mac tool. Uh, and I guess the important thing to remember is that whichever tool that you use, you need to recall to output your images in the correct sizes. So recall for a banner, that was 950 pixels by 350 pixels. And for any of the tile images, that it's 400 pixels by 250 pixels. So if you don't have image editing skills yourself, reach out to a friend who may be able to do that for you. So once you've edited your images, you have saved copies of the edited versions, it's now turn to return to Moodle and start to replace the images out of the standard theme. So here I go. I'm back in my vanilla version of this site. I'm going to turn editing on. And I'm going to start to set some images now. The first one I'm going to set is the background image to what becomes the top banner. So I'm going to click on background image and then I'm going to choose a file from my computer. There's that image that's been put in place. While I'm here, I'll continue down the screen. I'm going now to tile one and I'm going to set the background of this tile in the same way. And just continue that process down the page and very quickly you'll end up with a design that looks like this. So it's taken the original uh, design elements and it's just made them more contemporary for your teaching area.